Greetings, welcome back to the channel, Addicted to Geography, Mr. Henry here. And today, in this video, we're going to be talking about greenhouse gases and climate change. Now, greenhouse gases absorb and emit radiation, and this causes the Earth's temperature to rise. Greenhouse gas molecules absorb some of this infrared radiation, you know, incoming solar radiation, instead of letting it pass straight back into space. The molecules then re-emit infrared radiation in all directions, including back to the surface. This causes the planet to heat up, and this is generally known as the greenhouse effect. You know that already, right? Without greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, the Earth would be about 30 degrees colder. So they actually aren't a bad thing as they make the Earth's surface livable or habitable. Greenhouse gases are also found on other celestial bodies, including Venus, Mars, and Titan, which is a moon of Saturn. Greenhouse gases contribute to Venus having a surface temperature of over 400 degrees Celsius, making it the hottest planet even though Mercury technically is closest to the Sun. Human activities like burning fossil fuels and agriculture enhance the greenhouse effect, leading to climate change. Fossil energy sources, including oil, coal and natural gas, are non-renewable resources that formed when prehistoric animals and plants died and they were gradually buried beneath layers of rock. Burning fossil fuels like natural gas and coal generates energy for us. We use this energy to generate electricity and to power transportation, for example, in our cars and in our planes. Agriculture and land use change also emit large quantities of greenhouse gases. Cows and other ruminant animals like goats and sheep emit methane, a potent greenhouse gas that is created as they digest grasses and plants. This process is called enteric fermentation and it's the origin of cow burps and other gas releases. Methane is also emitted from manure. The term ruminant means that an animal such as a cow or sheep has more than one stomach and it swallows its food and brings it back up to continue chewing it and digesting it. The most abundant greenhouse gases include carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, ozone, and chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs. These artificial compounds are used in refrigerators, air conditioning systems, aerosol sprays, and cleaning agents, among other uses. HFCs, which are hydrofluorocarbons, are replacing CFCs, as CFCs are extremely damaging to the ozone layer and are being phased out under what is being known as the Montreal Protocol. Water vapor is a potent greenhouse gas and it's responsible for most of the greenhouse effect. So in summary, human-produced greenhouse gases contribute to global warming and climate change. Additionally, sadly, because we're cutting down our trees, which is known as deforestation, the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is also increasing, as trees would normally be absorbing a vast amount of carbon dioxide. So all these processes that we as humans are doing are ending up creating more greenhouse gases than is necessary in our atmosphere. And the more greenhouse gases there are in our atmosphere, it's like putting on more blankets at night when you're sleeping. You're going to get very hot. And this is what is happening to our Earth. And our Earth is getting very hot, which is global warming. And therefore, the ice caps are melting, the glaciers are melting. Carbon dioxide is trapped in the ice. So if we are melting the ice, we are also releasing additional carbon dioxide. 
carbon dioxide is normally stored in the seas also but because we're heating the planet therefore the seas are being heated and this is also releasing carbon dioxide so you see the problems that we're creating so many problems which are creating other problems yes climate change and global warming is a real thing it's a reality that we're going through and if we, if we don't change our practices then the future looks very dim and grim